Y'all yes. keep sending me the most amazing mugs. And guess what this one say today? Happy j Hood Place. Do you see that? Yes. I love it so much. And then the other side got my good saying, hold the line. Anybody know what hold the line mean? Hold the line. That mean, wait a minute, hold the line. Let me figure this out. Everybody has their own subtext with that. Hold on, I gotta take my sip. Excuse me, y'all didn't want none, did you? Let me get... I love you too! Hey, baby! Hey! Ah! Oh, but we made it! Y'all, the Jennifer Hudson show has got renewed for season two! My God! You better celebrate! Woo! Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Don't you want to run this up? Listen. Like, and, 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 and I want to say, it's, it, thank y'all for that. But give yourselves a hand, too, because again, you were a part of it. So that's what my tears is for. And I know I talked your head off, but that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, we do a lot of things, and sometimes you get, I think this happens to all of us as adults. We're so busy doing stuff that we never stop to think about, like, this is what I prayed for. This is what I wanted. It's happening. And embracing it. Right? Well, this is one of those moments. And honey, I'm the kind of that's like, look, I'm the fool to try it, but I'm sitting here looking too, like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> How it's gonna go? But, but you, you have to trust your journey and walk into it. And so now, we in 23, and we gonna glide on through this thing into season two. Yes, we are! Yes, we are! Now, before they make me go to commercial break, I wrote a few words. <laughs> But it's, it's just so many things that I want to say, and my heart is so full. But uh, let me see if I can keep up with myself. But again, to the crew and the staff, I feel like I'm giving an acceptance speech or something. <laughs> I love y'all so much, and I appreciate y'all so much, and I would not be able to live this life without you. <laughs> oh, my God. Lord, I'm trembling. <laughs> and then I have to give a special shout out to also the guests, the guests, all the guests that come and sit on this couch. They have blessed all of our spirit and just bringing their energy, their star power, their human, their hearts, and that's what this is about. And then um, my family, to my, my baby, little David, he is such a trooper. You know, I, I recently told him, I was like, do I tell him before or do I tell him after? But this is a huge year for him. And most likely he'll come here and go to high school. And that's a huge transition, but he has got, he, that child has been born to be nothing but a blessing. And so I wanna say thank you to my son for just always supporting his mom and being just such a, just a, a inspiration of a child and just being there in support and supporting his mom and, and watching him grow up. And, and it's a huge transition that we're going for and I'm proud of him for taking this journey with me. So I love my baby. I got, I got a few more seconds, but I love y'all and I appreciate y'all and just know I'm so grateful for the opportunity. You give me the opportunity, I'm gonna do my best to make it work. I do not take this lightly at all. And remember, most of all, you will always see me try, but this is my mug to say, let's celebrate y'all. Let's celebrate. Thank you. You can is the mug for today. I'm gonna take my sip. I love my little mugs with the affirmations on it. Any, that it just encourages me so. But I can't help but to think about the song my mama used to sing. It could have been anything that you want to. And I can tell the way you do the things. I knew you knew it. I knew you knew it. That takes me back. My mother used to tell us, whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. And she used to always sing us that little song. And so anytime I think of things that I don't think I can do, all I hear is my mama singing that song in the back of my mind. And that's why I never sit down because with all of that good encouragement, it encourages me to do whatever I put my mind to. And that's why I love having this little mug right here because it says you can and just know you can do. I always tell my son you can do whatever. 
wherever. And, I, and even this, even this, like one of my biggest fears is I'll sing you down. Yes, sir, I will. I will talk I, on, the, on the, off to the side. I'll talk your head off. But I used to have a huge fear of talking to huge crowds. I'll tell people, I, I'll act. And I sing, but please don't make me speak. So, but, but with that, with my mama's encouragement, you could do anything you put your mind to. Now I get to sit and talk to y'all every day. And I love it. I thrive off a of good old energy. And listen, it brings me to my mug of the day. It's, this is one of my favorite sayings because Lord knows I live by this. All things are possible. Mm. I am a living witness. Yes, you know. When others can count you out, God will bring you right on back in, you know? And I am a living witness of that. You know what I'm saying? And, then, and if I could be a testimony to anyone, to let them know that anything is possible, my mother used to tell us, whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. And I hope everybody knows that. And, and I, I, that's what I live by, so that's why this had to be my mug of the day. I mean, it wouldn't be right if I didn't kick off the new year and share my uh, Happy New Year 2023 mug. It got my good colors in it. Oh, that's just so pretty to me. But yeah, so I just like to, and then I love to reflect too, like on the previous year of the highlights, because it's good to have gratitude and be grateful and to um, reflect on how far we've come, what we have been through and be grateful to be able to make it into a new year. So again, I just wanna say Happy New Year's to everybody. Oh, you are fierce. Speaking of fierceness, I had to put my little outfit on and I had to tip up here like this because I was feeling fierce on this Friday. <sighs> and then I, I'm always watching y'all before I come out and I got to see y'all dancing out here. Y'all were looking good. Uh-huh. And then I also, I, one of my favorite things is I love to get to know people. Like, you guys took time out of your busy schedules to come see about little old me. And so it's like, I want to know who y'all are, too. And so, yeah, mm -hmm, I want to get in your business. You know that? <laughs> you see, I tried to find a... I, yes, I tried to find the nicest way to say that to you. I'm going to get me a mug wall around here. So when y'all send me a mug, and sometimes when I use it on the show, then I'm going to send you a Jennifer Hudson mug back. So keep them coming, okay? <laughs> This is a mug that I absolutely love. It's from Eileen, and it says, living my blessed life. Not best life, but blessed life. Thank you, Eileen, for giving me this. It's so amazing. Like I said, I'm gonna send you a Jennifer Hudson mug because I, I'm showing your mug today, so you are gonna get one too, because this is the house of plentifulness, and I love to share. Look at that one. Yes. And it says, it, and it's the truth, y'all, happiness, is everything. Yeah. Everything, everything. You see my lips on it, I already took my sip. Carlene Polk from Wisconsin, she sent me this mug right here. And Carlene, I am going to send you a J-Hub mug so you get ready, it's on this way. Yeah. And when you get a chance, make sure you stop by the Jennifer Hudson show, because I want to look you upside your head too, if that is all right. And we can have us a good old mug together. Can we do that? No one is you, and that is your superpower. You know? I feel we all have a superpower, so I feel like this is a good way to, you know, encourage everybody to know that we're all special in our own way because everybody is a specialist in something, and those are the things that inspire me the most, being around people who love what they do or passionate about what they do. So this little cup right here is inspiring me today. It is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Yes. And I wanted to pick a mug today that represented his message. And it's let freedom ring, okay? Do you see it? You know? Let me take my sip in the name of Mr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's for sure, but it's definitely a time, you know, where we should all stop and take it in and think about, you know, his investment in us. And most importantly, the example and how he lived, you know? Yes. Because it's, it, I think, you know, we all live off of, of 
his prayers, his dreams, yes. you know? And, and it's, you know, his trying. And to think of his, I have a dream speech. Like, when I think of it, it's like he, I, the dreams that I get to dream up and the things that I get to do and the things we get to see our children do and even us sitting here together. Yes. Is, it was his dream. And oftentimes I sit back and wonder when I see things, as my mother used to say, just sitting back watching the world. And I look back and I wonder, and I say, I wonder what would he think of us as a people today and how far we've come, you know? Or will he look back at himself and say, servant, well done, you know? Because, again, this was his dream and goal. But not only of us, for us to live our dreams, but for us to be able to come together as, as human beings and be on one accord. Yeah. So I can only say, I hope, you know, we're doing okay. And, and yes, we have ways to go, but, you know, because of him, we are able to dream and continue on with the things in, in life that we aspire to be due to his legacy. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.